like I'm on an episode of The Amazing Race right now. Only it's not as fun. Good morning guys, so it's my last full day in Japan and today we're going to go on a massive adventure. We're going to be catching a bus, we're going to be riding that for two hours, then we're going to a car rental place where we're going to hire out a Honda NSX and a Nissan GTR so we're going to get the true Japanese car experience and we're going to drive them through the mountains and head up to Mount Fuji. Although it has started off quite stressful, we went to the bus station and when I got there I realized I had forgotten one of the propellers for my drone. I've had to jump jump in a cab, quickly go back to the house. Now I'm heading back to the bus station and the bus leaves in 10 minutes, so hopefully I make it. I'm pretty stressed out right about now. I've literally got five minutes to spare now. I gotta find the guys and find the bus. Oh, this is stressful. I just made it, literally. Sorry, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> At least I made it back. I can't believe you forgot your propeller. You didn't even check your propeller, nothing. I know, right? At least get my charger. I knew I forgot something. No, I'm kidding. I brought it. Did you I brought it. There at least two? Uh, yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did. Relax. <laughs> All right. Let's get on the bus before we miss this one. Now, I think I'm just going to sleep for like two hours because we were up at 5 a.m. today. Oh my god, I'm so excited guys, I can see my car already. We just came to this place called Fun to Drive and they rent out all these cars. That's the car that Hal's getting. This is mine right here, the Honda NSX. This is one of my all-time favorite cars. Okay, so I just got the NSX. I'm so seriously excited right now. This is gonna be amazing. I've always wanted to drive this car and this is the road to drive it on. So excited right now. Oh, look at that view, wow. Mount Fuji just, it doesn't even look real. Yeah, it looks so fake. It looks like something out of a postcard. Yeah. And the way the snow is just sitting on top of it, like yeah. an ice cream or something. That's so I'm so sick. glad we got out of the city. Yeah. Like, the city was fun, yeah. but getting out here into nature and actually experiencing Japan, yeah. this is what's really excited me. That's amazing, that mountain. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. It's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Crazy all day, no one and three, so I switched to 23. Capitalist supporter, King James with the first. Red, white, home, yellow, red, away colors. Who am I? Dark skin, eyes looking beady. Bonita, apple bomb, body thick as hell. 530 yen. So, yeah. 530 yen. So, I'll, I'll pull up over there and wait for you. Well, I didn't think you could. Okay. I feel bad, the route that we're taking, we haven't actually really gone through the mountains much and that was the whole plan to go through the mountains. We're going to this place that, from the pictures we've seen, has six kilometers of beautiful, colorful flowers and we want to fly a drone there and it looks epic. Ah, arigato, thank you very much. Thank, ah. ah, arigato, thank you. This is what we've come to see. So hopefully it looks like this, because that looks amazing. The picture I showed you guys, it looks nothing like that whatsoever. All the flowers are gone. 
you can see maybe just a little bit of pink flowers uh, it looks like we've come too late in the year the brochure said that it's still good until the end of May um, the information that we read online said that it's still good until the end of May but it, yeah as you can see it doesn't look like that we've been here for about 20 minutes now just looking around the view of Mount Fuji is mind-blowing, it's so beautiful, but we made the decision that we need to head back up to the mountains, which are about an hour and a half away, and have a bit of a drive through the mountains and just really enjoy being in the mountains, because it's four o'clock now, and we need to have the cars back by six. So we just want to have about half an hour driving through uh, the mountains. I've never driven a car that handles like this in my life. The way that it sticks to the road, doesn't oversteer, doesn't understeer. It's just perfectly weighted in the center. It's just, wow. Like, it's not the fastest car in a straight line, but going around these twisty roads, the tires just stick to the ground like glue. You ever had one of those days where everything that can go wrong does go wrong that's my day today it started off this morning with the whole propeller situation and nearly missing the bus here then we got here made the decision to go see those epic flowers got there and there was no flowers there had we stayed in the mountains and just driven around in the mountains it would have been an amazing day and to make things worse, I left my camera, my big camera, my expensive camera, down where the flowers are. Now, the good news is, somebody found it. People here are really, really honest, they're holding it for me, but they don't open until eight in the morning. So I'm a couple of hours outside of Tokyo now, so what I'm gonna have to do is stay up here at a hotel on my own and rent a car in the morning and try and get there and back in time for my flight tomorrow. The guys have to go back because they've got an earlier flight and there's no way that they would make it. So that's what's going on right now. I'm incredibly stressed out. The guys at Fun to Drive though have been so helpful. They've helped me book a hotel. They've helped me book a car to rent tomorrow. If it wasn't for these guys, I don't think I would have been able to figure this all out because things are pretty confusing over here. So, um, yeah, that's what's going on. Incredibly stressful day. Um, but driving the cars, it was fun. And I know that one day down the line, this is going to be a great travel story to tell. So that's the bright side of things. I've got an epic story to tell once I get through it all. been the most stressful day and I know tomorrow is going to be even more stressful trying to get everything done and get back to the airport on time but I feel like if I can do this I can do anything and it's gonna make an amazing travel story so that's how I'm trying to think of it I'm actually not sure whether I should tell Nikki what's going on or not because she's been having a pretty stressful day and I feel really bad stressing her out anymore but at the same time, I'm a horrible liar and I don't want to lie to her. The second she finds out how stressed out I am, she's probably going to get even more stressed out than I am. So that's, that's, that's the conundrum. I've been walking around this area for a while now trying to find something to eat. The only things that I could find open though are an adult store right behind me and a 7-Eleven. I don't particularly want to eat it either, but 7-Eleven is definitely going to win over the adult store. I'll grab this as well. 
Uh, yes, I'll grab that one, that one, and this one. This one. And this one. Thank you. The one upside to today, this ham and cheese wrap is actually incredibly good. It's like a sausage roll, but with ham and cheese. So good. Did face my mask tonight. Yeah, Me and your mum and Ava. <laughs> How did Ava react to the face mask? Well, we had to give her the real one. I just... Because we were putting them on with brushes. Yeah. I was like... Eh, eh, like she really wanted one too. So I just got baby lotion and put it on the brush and I painted her face with it and she thought she was getting a mask and her face was so cute. She was like... She was like... I was like, this girl, she's three years old, then. <laughs> I can't wait to see her. I can't wait to see all of you. I really miss you guys. Yeah, we miss you too. The house is, like, weird without you. Mm. Yeah. Found another note of yours under the tray that uh -huh. Ava moves all the time. Oh, <laughs> did you? Yeah, I figured, I figured she would move it eventually. Morning guys, so I didn't end up telling Nikki last night. I got on the phone to her and she just sounded like she'd had a really really stressful day and I didn't want to upset her. I didn't lie to her, I just didn't mention anything. Anyway, I'm getting a cab now. How cool is this? The cab doors open automatically. Hello, how are you? Uh, sorry, uh, I need to go. Uh, I need to go to this rental car place. Rental car? Hi. Yes. Do you know uh, Nippon this one? Nippon rental car. Yes. <laughs> arigato, arigato. Yeah, so I technically didn't lie to her. I just didn't mention anything about what was going on and I just listened to her tell me about her stressful day instead. I just didn't want to add to it. I tell her everything that's going on once problems completely solved. I think that was the best option. Like I got to have a nice day. Thank you. All right, the rent a car place now. Hello. Ah, oh, sorry. Hello. Um, I'm here to rent a car, Jamie Perkins. Okay. Oh, so pay credit card only. Credit card only? Yeah, yeah. no problem. So this is my car for the day. It's not quite as exciting as the NSX, but it will definitely do the job. I'm happy now. So I think he will take you. Ah. ah, thank you. Thank God the people here are honest. I got my camera back. It was definitely worth this long trip. Now I need to figure out a way to get to the airport on time. Next obstacle. I kind of feel like I'm on an episode of The Amazing Race right now. Only it's not as fun. One upside.
downside to all this drama is at least I get to drive through this beautiful scenery again. It really is breathtaking. Okay, I better not forget this one. <laughs> myself a cab really really quick it's gonna take me like 20 minutes to get to my house then I gotta quickly pack and head to the station so I'm just realizing I wasn't as ahead of time as I thought I was where do I find a cab oh I think I see a cab <sighs> Hello, hello, Ochi Station. Ochi Station. Ochi Station. Just got home. Gives me 22 minutes to pack. Timing worked out perfectly. Bye bye house. Bye bye creepy attic. Bye bye creepy ghost that I'm sure lives up there. Visualizing the realism of life and actuality. Uncle's the baddest of person status depends on salary. And my mentality is money orientated. I'm destined to live the dream. Hey, I think I finally got the hang of the train system. I caught three trains, didn't get lost once. I was supposed to check in at six o'clock. I got here at 10 to six. Things are starting to look up. You know what's weird? Now I'm kind of glad that all of that stuff went wrong and I was left in that predicament because I ended up having an adventure. I've got a cool story to tell out of it. And you know, I doubted myself. I thought I was gonna miss my flight. I didn't think that I could get all of this stuff done. I was really stressed out because of the language barrier and having to solve all of these problems. But I was able to do it. And the fact that I was able to do it has made me feel a lot better about myself and a lot more confident in who I am and definitely who I am like when I'm traveling. Sorry to get all philosophical with you guys, but I just wanted to, to hammer that point in. If you guys are having a bad day today, maybe that challenge tomorrow is gonna make you feel better about yourself once you finally get yourself out of that predicament. Cause it did for me. Anyway, I'm about to jump on the plane. So I'll end the vlog here. If you like today's vlog please hit the thumbs up subscribe hit the notifications and i'll see you guys in sydney bye